As you know, my name's JJ Singleton, and I started posting videos to this YouTube channel, just a, another social media account to get my story and uh, raise awareness for colorectal cancer. But it's came to my attention that a lot of people that on here will see these videos that have no idea about my story or why I talk about the things that I do because I only post it on other social media accounts. So here is going to be kind of an outline, like highlight of my whole journey with cancer and everything that's came with it. And if you want to know anything else or me going into more detail about something, just let me know in the comments. It all started around a Memorial Day of 2015. I felt a pain in my abdomen and I was a typical 27 year old stubborn guy who ignored it. And it kept getting worse on and off throughout that whole summer. I was training for a CrossFit competition, so I thought I'd pull the muscle. And uh, I did the CrossFit competition on August 1st, and then my body crashed for the next month. And I was still stubborn and stupid and wouldn't go to the doctor until my mom made me. At that point, you could see the tumor throb through my skin with my heartbeat if I pulled my shirt up against my stomach. Doctor took one look straight to the hospital to get a scan. I didn't even make it out of the hospital to my car before the doctor called back, said, bring your mom, bring somebody, come to the doctor's office. Told me how to mass my colon, knew without a doubt it was cancer. That was on Labor Day weekend in 2015. The day after Labor Day, colonoscopy, the next day met the surgeon. A week later, I was in the hospital, ended up being in there for two and a half weeks. Got a little break, Went down to Duke Cancer Center, met with an oncologist there, and we decided to do 12 rounds of Folfox chemo. Chemo's hell. It sucks. But I somehow got through those 12 rounds. A clean scan at first. Clean colonoscopy. Thought I was good. Later, six weeks later, same throbbing in my abdomen. Doctor's office, scans, tests, biopsies, down to Duke found out my cancer was back, spread to my abdominal wall and in lymph nodes throughout my body. And with how my cancer was made up, me being positive for Lynch syndrome and the way the tumors were mutated, it was incurable and inoperable. So they gave me a 25% chance to be alive in five years. So we started chemo again, different kinds, different combinations, one after the other failed. I was on my last chemo option and it failed and they were like, you have two options, hospice or this clinical trial. So I didn't want to die yet, filled out hundreds of sheets of papers for a clinical trial of an immunotherapy. And before I could get on it, I got put in the hospital because the cancer grew around the end of my stomach, into my intestines. So that caused me not to be able to digest food. Whatever I ate would just sit in my stomach until I threw it up. So I went to the hospital, was in there for a month before they realized that they could feed me and nourish me in TPN infusions. Got everything I needed, hydrated food, nutrients, minerals, through a 12 hour infusion at night, or 15 hour infusion, sorry. It's been a few years since then. But, so we did that, I started the clinical trial, it's worked to an extent. I'm still on it, even though it's FDA approved drug now. I went 450 days where I could not eat food. I got those infusions. I had drainage bags, so any liquid I put in my mouth would go straight out into the bags, not even touch my stomach. And now that I've been on that treatment, they've added some drugs here and there, took some away, made a few different combinations for spots that pop up. But I say I'm stable. The cancer's still active. It's still growing, shrinking, moving. But I'm okay. The treatment's doing its job, keeping it from spreading and killing me. Last This past week was my 121st, 121st round of chemo, immunotherapy, combination drugs. And I'm hoping to you know go as high as that number will allow me to be alive. But... That is the very short highlighted point of my cancer journey.